The Texas legislature will vote on hundreds of bills each session. Often those debates can get overlooked, even on critical legislation. And that's why we've asked legislators to come to TPPF to talk about their bills to make sure you stay on top of the most important issues making their way through the Capitol. This is The Layout. I'm David Ballard, and today we're discussing HB 711 with Chairman James Frank. Welcome to the show, James. Thanks. Great to be here. Appreciate it. You know, tell us tell us a little bit about what sparked this bill and the problem that you're trying to solve. Uh, the big problem uh, from a macro standpoint is just health care costs in our country are two to two and a half times more expensive than the rest of the first world. Our, our particularly middle class is getting crushed by excessive health care costs and been trying to identify what, what we can do about it. Well, take us through the bill and tell us how it works. Well, the bill's fairly straightforward. It, it, it really uh, it, it restricts four uh, anti-competitive behaviors that market leaders do. Very huge, you know, huge companies do. Uh, whether it's insurance companies or very large hospital systems use uh, to keep their large or, or market controlling uh, positions. And, and it basically says you can't do that. It creates what I would say is a level playing field and hopefully sets the stage for lower health care costs at some point in the future. What do you hope the goal would be once the bill has been passed and implemented, and how would that make the lives of Texans better? Well, the goal is lower health care costs and better quality. And at the end of the day, we have good quality health care, but it's very high cost. And it's high cost because you don't have a real market. And when I say a market, there's three things that you have to have in a market. One is transparent pricing. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion on that, still very limited uh, success uh, in, in real terms, in terms of people understanding that. So you have to have transparent pricing. Uh, the second thing you have to have is competition. You actually have to have a couple of places to go if you know how expensive things are, mm-hmm. uh, but you only have one place to go. You just know how bad you're getting ripped off. Uh, and the last thing you have to have is your, you have to actually care what the cost is. Your patient, uh, the customer, has to actually care what something costs. In our current system, you really don't have this. This bill really addresses the competition part of it. Uh, we have a healthcare system where very, very large companies, many of them do a great job, but many of them have almost uh, unlimited market power. Yeah, and, and employers are starting to key in on this. They're recognizing that they have more of a, a handle, and it's, it's, it's affecting the lives of uh, their employees. This is a kitchen table issue. It absolutely is. When you look at a particularly middle class person, uh, you know, because honestly, if you're destitute, you're getting your health care taken care of typically for free. If you're very wealthy, it's not a, as big a percentage. It's the, really the middle uh, where you're getting crushed. And if you look at paying twice as much for your health care as what it should cost, mm. that that is a lot of food on the on the kitchen table, it so is. to speak. It's a, it's a huge number. Many times it's ten thousand dollars per family. That you're that we're overpaying in our system, and I would think that's a conservative number. Yeah. Honestly, I, I agree. Uh, providers and facilities. I'm always claim, conservative, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> providers and facilities claim that this bill unfairly targets them, and that the focus should be on insurers instead. How would you respond to that criticism? I think twofold. One, it focuses on both. There's actually uh, a focus on this bill on insurers' practices as well. But David, at the end of the day, the real focus should be on the patient. That is where the focus should be, and, and unfortunately, most patients don't typically have lobbyists up here. Uh, that's what they expect us to do. It's been really interesting to see who uh, who believes what healthcare is about. Right, <laughs> absolutely. Um, you know, the hospitals think that they're the center of the healthcare universe. The insurers think that they are. Yeah. But if you look at the basic building block, it's it's it, the patient. It is it is absolutely the patient, and I think you can see. Look, the only way to ever to be against something like this is to do it in the back rooms, because when you put it on the floor of the Texas House, every single member voted for it, 146 to none. Yeah. Senate, 30 to one. The only way to do to kill this is behind the scenes, and unanimously out of each committee as well. Yeah, absolutely. Have you gotten any kind of reaction from your constituents, from groups, any coalitions that have been supporting this bill? What, what's been the response that you're getting from the people who would be directly affected by? Well, I, I mean, the response is tremendously uh, supportive when they understand what is going on. This is a very complex issue, and I think that's the challenge with healthcare. Is many times people don't know what to do other than, well, let's just have the government pay. But frankly, it's all it's our money, right? It's like it's all it's all tied together. If we're paying twice as much, uh, whether the government is paying for it or we're paying for it individually, we are not benefiting from that. But there are people that are benefiting, and they're the ones who are against the bill. 
Yeah. Well, and they're working very hard. Too. <laughs> they're working very hard. And we have a lot of, you know, honestly, you know, TPPF, Texas 2036. All, uh, there's an amazing list of people that are supporting this. Uh, and they're very few. Again, virtually every hospital is fine with this. Virtually every hospital is fine with this, except for a couple of tremendously large integrated systems that are yeah. passing money back and forth. Those are not as, but that's also some of the behaviors we're trying to uh, impact with this and other legislation. It does uh, mitigate the the continued consolidation uh, that that we've seen in the healthcare, which is driving the price of healthcare up and up and up. So, Absolutely. Yeah. No, I appreciate your 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 work on this, and we look forward to seeing it uh, be a big win for the for the state of Texas and for the people of Texas. No, and I, pre- I appreciate the support of the uh, of the speaker in getting this done, and of, yeah. of the lieutenant governor, and I look forward to the governor uh, signing this shortly. But we look forward to it as well.